Hey, Cal. Good to see you. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Lucky Turgle hasn't doomed us all by antagonizing the Raiders. Turgle didn't have anything to do with Z's kidnapping. Well, then why did you bother to rescue her? You hardly know her. If I were at the business end of a Bedlam Raider rifle, you wouldn't soak up a blaster bolt for me. I probably would. As I thought, you... you would. Well, that's very decent of you. I leave you in the dust. Mine. Nothing personal. Yeah, I figured. Don't go getting into more trouble, all right? No promises. Drail. Old friend of Moran's. I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Dreo, my old partner. He had a ghastly sense of style. Another outlaw? Not when I met him. He was running a perfectly legitimate port in Rhodia. Allowed me to use his docks for my shipments. No questions asked, supposedly. But we got to talking anyways. Sounds like a nice guy. He was the genuine article, all right. Probably why things didn't work out between us. So how'd you go from making sounds on Riosa to becoming a producer? Well, I put together a few rough tracks, handed them out to friends, and things spread word of mouth. Started playing enough gigs to do it full time. Eventually, someone with influence caught a listen as they were passing through. They'd worked with Max Rebo, so I figured they were legit. Max Rebo? That is legit. Exactly. Said they could give me some gigs in the core. When they said core, I heard like Chandrila. Nah, they meant Coruscant. So that's where I went. There has to be a few more tunes out there for you to bring to me. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Whoa, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... <laughs> I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big raiders with a do-back. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay, but if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see why the raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Seems like the raider problem here is getting worse on the daily. They've got a new leader. No surprise they're getting bolder. Well, I guess that's why they call it hazard pay. Not much to be done, is there? Talk like that's gonna get us both killed. Oh, yeah? Well, let's get his take. What do you propose we do, Cal? You should avoid the Raiders. Scrapping is dangerous, but they're worse. Kid's right, Dana. No more jobs on gang turf. Too risky with them Raiders. Ha! <laughs> I ain't gonna be intimidated by a few goons with this is just what we scrappers do. We grab anything that looks valuable. And hope it isn't load-bearing. Yeah, I get it. But you're underestimating the Raiders. Due respect, we've made it this far. And there's no way I'm quitting. We're... <laughs> right. No way we're quitting now. You seem in a good mood. I was thinking how this cantina reminds me of a celebratory dance on my home planet. Cantina reminds you of people dancing? My people don't dance. The dance is my people. All together, without everyone's essence, there is nothing. Like this cantina. Someone ordering a drink from Monk. A joke from Gulu. A hunting tale from Mossy. All these acts combine into something greater the performers themselves. Now is not the time to speak. How you doing? See you when I see you. 
You're on a roll, Cal. Got another tip for ya. What you got? A bounty droid named Mesh has been babbling on the brood comms about that lab on the shattered moon. Go shut them up, will ya? They're a disgrace to the profession, if you ask me. We'll see about them. Sooner or later. Atta boy. Garagos. They fight to the bitter end, don't they? Especially when they're injured. Yeah, they do. A lot of beasts are like that. I learned the hard way on a family outing once. My first time leading. Tracked a Kivaroa back to its nest. It was killing livestock. No other choice but to put it down. Played the approach perfectly. Found an opening. Uh, but my family was watching, so I decided to get a little bit fancy. Lost my concentration. One of his legs slams down, inches away from cracking my spine. Mama pushed it aside in the nick of time. Finish that Kivaroa, no frills. That's a close call. <laughs> yep. Hey, like you corner something, it'll do what it needs to survive. Even when you have the upper hand, never underestimate your prey. Later, BD. We really took the fight to those raiders. How you feeling? Excited. Excited? I didn't know you all were allowed to enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited too. I can nearly taste the free air of Tenelore. Almost there. Stay focused and we'll finally be able to build something for ourselves. Something to last. Let's catch up later. Ah, uh, you know what this place needs? A working refresher? Discipline. Those mouth-breeding raiders just walked in here and made off a Z. I go off planet for one second, and the whole place has gone soft. They've got to get it through their heads that I can't be their fearless leader all the time. People have to learn to defend themselves, Grease. You can't fight their battles for them. Watch yourself out there. Har, right? You said you're from around here? Been all over, Cobra. But I knew I had to foot slog it back to the Reach when I heard the stories. They say it's been a right barnyard since you arrived. Word traveled that fast, huh? If it's privacy you're worried about, mate, don't be. No one listens to old Har. But stop by if you ever want to hear the latest yarns, eh? My eyes, what they are, I couldn't hit a tree with a boulder. But I got ears like a fool of them. Hey, mate. Bobby, look at this! The tank is a bustle! A veritable fishing colony! Think there's room for more? Hey, but though it brings a tear to my eye, I fear we may be reaching capacity. Too many more, and old Scuba won't be able to wet his flippers without slapping the fishing. I'll see you out in the wide world, buddy. The hunt continues! So why'd you choose to study the High Republic? You know, I think it is the same reason that people are flocking to Pylun's saloon. Everyone is excited about the possibility of what Kobo could become. I believe that is the kind of optimism that defined the High Republic. Maybe you're right about that. We'll talk soon. You know, Cal, I think my recent brush with the Raiders has rather altered my perspective. How so? My assumption was that these raiders were unprincipled thieves and brutes. But they aren't lacking in principle or dedication. They have a code. A rotten code. A code all the same. Maybe that's what makes them so dangerous. Even in my day, there were those who wrapped their selfish ambitions in a cloak of high purpose. Cough, cough. Gag and Gera. Not now, Cal. How glad I am to share with a friend. This one. Excellent selection. A strong choice, certainly. See you later. 
you returned in one piece. You sound surprised. You do have a knack for getting into trouble. Yeah, but Bode has a knack for keeping me on the right side of blaster fire. A useful quality in a friend. Be careful. It. I can help you hook up the wiring. Ooh, it's a dead. Not now, dear. Uh, let's chat later. Garden's looking kind of respectable. Excellent! A new species! Plant it. I'll explain it to you. The garden is fully expanded. Well done, Cal! This, of course, comes with benefits. There should now be more than enough goodness in the soil to boost the plant's growth. And, if you prefer, you could put plants in stasis at the size of your choosing. A Kobo Spiker. The name says it all. Protection from predators and quite effective. The flower is most intricate and beautiful, but its spines are so sharp that it is best observed from afar. That fruit shell will be wonderful when it flowers. The wide brim leaves provide shade for the thin stem, which can blister in the heat very easily, you know. Let's sow some new seeds. New type of plant. I wonder if Peely has something to say about it. Here's your new home. Which would look good here? safe here.
Get to growing. Never seen this one. I should talk to Peely about it. Which do we want? Let's plant this here. Want to plant some seeds? Perfect. Now we wait. The right color can make this plant pop. And you go over here. A new species for the garden. Let's talk to Peely about it. I think they'll like it there, buddy. Here looks good. They've got a lot to choose from here. Find out what this holds.
That did the trick. Come on. Look at this. Let's take this to Doma's. This is a good find. Good job. I wonder how long this has been here. Here. First thing is paid a visit to Domodendra. You hear that? Oh no! Run! Go! More priorite.
Gotta stay calm.